welcome back to my channel my name is Shraddha and today I'm going to talk about how to travel from India to Germany for the first timer so travel with me and let's take a look at how you do your check-in how to clear the immigration how to reach the gates where your flight would be waiting for you and then I will talk about some small small tips during the journey I will also talk about the important documents that you need during your travel and then I will talk about my feelings how I was feeling once we took off and about the food about the service of the airlines also there were some forms that I had to fill during my flight and once you land in Germany what things you need to take care of how you would be navigating your way through the airport and also how you will uh, clear immigration which documents you would be needing to clear your immigration like for students who are studying in Germany they wanted to know so how how they can navigate through the airport where to collect their luggages from how to find train station and to reach their destination city so everything in this video stay tuned watch till the end so before boarding the flight first thing you need to do is to get your rt-pcr corona test done not more than 72 hours before boarding the flight and that RT-PCR test should have a QR code to scan because they will be checking in the flight. Hey, so I'm done packing. And as you can see, I have put this ribbons, these ribbons on each one of them and all have same ribbons, Indian flag, so that I can easily identify my luggage. I have a flight today at 2.30 in the morning. <sighs> And tiring so once you enter the airport you have different counters of different airlines mine was Air India you submit your luggage make sure that you have 23 kg per piece for the economy class do not extend beyond it and after that you are given your boarding pass and there it mentions which gate you need to follow follow the gate go to the immigration next so because of the security reasons i could not record here because it is not allowed here you just have to present your boarding pass your passport and your visa or your residence permit that's it these are the three documents that are needed after clearing my immigration i'm heading towards the security check i'm not showing here because again because of security reasons it's not allowed but here you need just two documents your passport and your boarding pass because they will stamp on your boarding pass so after clearing that you reach the my favorite place which is the duty free shop here you find a lot of cosmetics perfumes liquor um, chocolates anything that you want you can buy here because it's all tax free duty free as you can see i'm following the gates my gate number was 10 and i'm just following the sign which says 1 to 26 to reach my gates where my flight would be standing now let's talk about some tips that I want to give you during your security check. Make sure that you have all your batteries, electronic items like laptop, your mobile phone, everything in your um, cabin bag with you so that you can get it out during your security check in a tray. Also they will ask you to put any metal items like coins, anything that is uh, like keys or um, some of the metal items that you have in a tray also you are not allowed to take any liquid uh, more than 100 ml so make sure that you have all your liquids in your check-in bag not in cabin bag even water bottle with water is not allowed so drink your water empty the bottle and I will tell you where you can fill up your bottle and as you can see now I'm following the gate I have to go at gate number 10 so I took the right turn and now I am heading towards the gate number 10 it's 1.10 right now and I completed my check-in at 12.30 so it took me this much of time to clear security check, immigration. So make sure that you have at least 2 hours before boarding the flight so that you can clear all the immigration security check and all the formalities and you still have time to go to the gates because sometimes it is very long uh, or it is very far away. 
here are our flight information always check your flight information again which is the gate are you heading towards the right gate? Earlier I had booked my flight with Vistara and as you can see it's 6 hours delay. I had to cancel it. It's the worst airline experience I ever had and then I booked Air India which is on time which I'm really glad. So after walking for nearly 15 minutes I reached my gate number 10 and here you can see there is uh, toilets available there are also some places where you can fill your water bottle so here I am filling my water bottle it has a sensor it will switch on the tap as soon as you reach near so you have to bring your empty bottles and you can fill your water bottle here Good morning, keep on to our digital registration the link is in the description go and check it out now we are all heading towards the plane where we need to sit and my seat is at the last and that's why I was asked to board first so seat number 30 to 38 were asked to board the flight was fully booked there were no seats and the middle people were asked to wear the kit so in flight I would advise you to wear some loose clothes like I'm wearing a really comfortable shirt and a trouser which is very loose, a comfortable shoes and pillow of course for the long journey and I'm all set already for the flight to take off. Feeling a little bit uh, sad and yeah I'm missing my home but that's we all experience when we leave our country and that's normal. I sometimes cry also, I was crying on the airport and that's why I didn't show much, but yeah, that's a part of journey. Our flight took off at 2.35 and we were given uh, this snack time or I don't know what it is but it had some brownies, some fruits, um, one this burger or sandwich and um, I took a wine bottle of wine and yeah it was really nice uh, so after one hour of takeoff you would be given this food and then yeah that's it and then you will be going to sleep so after having snacks I was ready for some entertainment but the screen was not working I pressed all the switches possible but still it did not work and then I got disappointed of course and I went to sleep so good night Guten Morgen morning um, yeah I look like this <laughs> woke up like this all messed up uh, in the flight what can you expect right but the view outside was like really nice the sun was out and look at these clouds they are so beautiful it looks like yeah some i don't know some volcanic eruption <laughs> but we were given breakfast it had again this puff i don't know what it's called maybe croissant french croissant from muffin um yogurt and of course water bottle and the best part which i like the most was not this butter of course <laughs> this thing which was for vegetarians i took a vegetarian meal and it had rice as well as um, idli and sambar which i liked and i i completely finished it <laughs> then we were given a passenger locator card it was a form that has to be filled by every passenger so that air india can locate you in case they need to find you maybe so I filled it so make sure to bring your pen along with you and now we are ready to land so get ready get your seat belts in we are going to land in Frankfurt and this is so exciting I just love being in the airplane and yeah so I was the last one as you can see everyone has already deboarded and 
now we are heading towards the gates and I will guide you what you need to do so just come along follow me we are out from the airplane and we need to go to the baggage claim side just follow the crowd that's what I think is the best advice if you want to go to toilet toilets are on the left but make sure that you don't go to toilet right now because because you need to clear your immigration this is our plane so let's go hold your natural calls so now we have landed it's almost 11 20 um almost quarter to eight and now i'm going towards the baggage let's collect the baggage and first of all we need to clear the immigration so first we'll go towards the immigration and then we will collect the baggage but you just have to follow the signs and people this sign i'm talking about baggage claim so we need to go this side so as i said follow the crowd and since i was the last one so there was no one so i am gonna just follow the sign and hold your natural calls because you can go to the toilet after you have collected your baggage now this is the point terminal b as you see you need to go out of this gate and there you see immigration that's the immigration we need to be in line we need to clear the immigration and then we will collect yeah, so you need your passport. After clearing the immigration, follow the sign, go down there, we have our baggages. Like for students who are studying in Germany, they wanted to know so how they need to roam around the airport, where they need to collect their baggage from and so yeah, just for them. Yeah, for the first time, for the people. <laughs> And I wanted to travel by bus mm -hmm. for the first time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's helpful, it's, it is helpful. <laughs> yeah, 21 22. Then we go towards our baggages which are on belt 21 and 22 usually they are always on 21 and 22 and there are so many bags you're gonna get confused but thank god we have some ribbons on our luggages so that we can identify them from the distance yep and here you also have a trolley where you can just put your coins coins were not working only cards were working so it cost like one euro and you can take out this one trolley after yeah giving your pin and all but i don't know what happened it got stuck and the person who had already paid one euro could not use it because it was so stuck and we i don't know what happened it was different story <laughs> so after almost 45 minutes i got both my luggage and now i'm going outside to catch my train and after that you come out of nothing to claim i came out of this v2 terminal here you see and i did not record because there was police so you come out like these people are coming and now i'm gonna show you where the toilet is this way if you go again sorry, ahead if you go up it's terminal 2 which is the departure so we can exit from here and there is a train station right across the street just go out and cross the road and there is a banhof across the road for long distance train so now i'm heading towards the banhof for long distance train because i have to travel to lubeck which is near Hamburg which is really long distance from here Frankfurt so you, I am just crossing the street and across the street is the Bahnhof train station and as you see this is DB which means Deutsche Bahn it's a train station and on my left no 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 on my left yes on my left there is another gate which connects on the second floor the free shuttle service for t1 t2 terminal for those who want to have a connecting flight to somewhere else but you don't need so we are entering the regional it says that you need to go downstairs okay and for the long distance train fun you see long distance train fun van hop we need to go up so you need to enter from gate 3 that's the thing. 
you enter it's like this if you go if you want to go down it will be the terminal one as you can see probably and if you go here it's the long distance train glides track 4 to 7 platform 4 to 7 and we need to catch from here so we need to take these long accelerators i remember the first time i entered here i still remember it so As you yeah. can see it's a really long terminal and we need to follow it through the end here if you want to use The first time I came here, I was like, wow, it's this huge. Do you see it? So these are the platforms. There is mine, six to seven. And I need to go that side for that. My train is on time, 9.58. And yeah, that's it. So let's go. Make sure that you always make a way for people to come out first and then you go inside whether it's the elevator or the train that's what people do in Germany otherwise they will be looking at you and yeah so I'm inside the elevator look at the luggages I'm carrying three luggage and a camera with me recording all the time all alone so you all can manage it's manageable it's not that difficult I'm here to help you out See, people stopped because they saw me, so I'm out and here is my train. Not my train, but ICE. It looks so beautiful and you need to book the tickets. The link is in the description from where you can book your tickets. So, yeah. So, like I said, have some time with you. Once you are um, arriving, take some two hours to two and a half hours to three hours of gap until you catch your ICE this is my printout ticket of the ICE there would be a ticket checker and as you can see I have wore my sweatshirt keep a sweatshirt jacket along with you in the cabin bag so that you can easily wear it when you feel cold because there was a little bit of cold that I was feeling in the train I was also getting a little bit hungry so I had apple with me and some yeah some ready to eat snacks so make sure to have some snacks apples fruit something with you because you will be getting hungry by the time you are on the train and then I started enjoying the beautiful view that I'm showing you right now there were so many uh, wine gardens castle so many beautiful things then I went to the toilet which is called WC um water closet something like that and yeah lock it and it is nice um just like the flight toilets of deutsche bahn are very nice they have a sink they have a really nice toilet finally i reached home my uh camera's battery is dead and it took me like 24 hours total from the time I left my home for the airport until the time I reached today here. Uh, journey was tiring. I am tired and that's why I'm taking a hot bath. But yeah, I managed. You also can manage in spite of all the troubles and everything. It's possible to travel of your own with all the luggage. Um, and I have shown you already where to go, what to do, how to book, um, everything that I could. I have tried my best. I feel really happy to be back and um, bored as well because there is nobody. Uh, I'm all alone in this house. So coming back uh, from home where you had your family, you had this warmth you had this you know everyone around you and all of a sudden no one is here feels a little bit weird and I always break down at the airport but this time it wasn't that much because I don't know why but I controlled myself <laughs> but yeah usually I just just start crying every time I even now so if you're traveling for the first time and if you feel heavy if you feel 
you know anxious if you cry it's okay let it be let it be out because that's how i also feel even now after living for like more than two and a half years in germany i still cry i still feel heavy i still feel choked <laughs> whenever i'm traveling so it's okay let it be let your emotions flow they are valid and i will see you in my next video with more useful information until then bye